Oddly enough, whenever I find myself in New York, I can't help but experience a sense of peace. Maybe because it feels like home. The noise, the people, the feel. Everyone's in their own world, including myself. Everything else is just tuned out. It's a good and bad thing, I think. In that space, I'm able to analyze my thoughts better. But also, leads to the risk of getting carried away in them. But if there's any place to get carried away in, why not New York? There's opportunity everywhere you turn here, as well as the people looking for it. I think that's what gives New York that indescribable feeling we often attach to it. That feeling of excitement and fear at the same time. The feeling that the sea itself is moving faster than you can keep up with. I think that is what exactly draws people here, to this place. New York challenges you. It draws you out of your comfort zone to make you feel like you're part of something bigger than yourself. I like that challenge. I also like how everyone's version of it is different and how everyone is doing different things to get there. I think that is what brings the people of New York together, sharing their journeys, especially during the holidays. I've never been to New York during the holidays, until now. I guess I wanted to witness the magic it's most famously known for, but most of all, I'm excited to keep exploring. Every time I do come here, I'm never doing the same thing or going to the same place. The city's too big for that. There's always a new thing to do or place you haven't tried yet. There's always something to cross off your list and somehow I don't feel overwhelmed by it all. New York gives me something to look forward to. A new adventure. A fresh dose of hope. Hope that helps replenish the joy I sometimes lose when I watch Chelsea play. At least I'm not on my own. Despite our ups and downs, our loyalty stays the same. It's all about community, you know? It's about those people who care about you just as much as you care about them. It's about sharing life with those who appreciate seeing it through your lens just as much as their own. I think that's what makes each moment spent with friends that much more valuable to hold on to. It explains why I started carrying a camera around with me to capture these moments. These moments that are forever fleeting. The moments that we take for granted. I try to capture these very things. help remember the times that we don't want to forget. <laughs> I don't want to be a stranger to New York. I'm glad I have friends who won't let me be. The best thing about this place is not only exploring it, but exploring it with them. <laughs> it's better that way, I think. Stepping out of your shoes for once and being at the mercy of their view. You learn a lot that way, I feel. About yourself. About them. 
I feel like my friends are learning a lot more about me through film and what I'm doing with it. And I hope it shows how much I appreciate Moments Together and how much I look forward to making new ones. I enjoy grabbing these moments of time and making them tangible in a sense. I hope more moments bring us here to New York, a place where moments can mean so much more just by being here. A place where they feel that much more real. I wonder where these moments might take us next, or what they might show us. All I can hope is that these moments make us more of ourselves. Make us reflect, make us live, and I hope these same moments are, most importantly, cherished. So thank you, New York the moments gone, the moments here, and the moments yet to come.